Crossbones, if it's your girl, you know how it is. Random. Um. So, hi everyone. It is your girl, you know me, Random, and today we're talking about confidence. <gasps> I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, I'm uh, working myself up because I'm about to go to the gym. I'm gonna walk in there with my short shorts on. Can y'all see my short shorts? Y'all can't really see my short shorts. I'm gonna walk in there like with my short shorts on. I'm gonna be like, let's go. Let's get it, my man. Let's exercise. But, um, this was an idea that I've had a little bit earlier today in which I wanted to talk about confidence and where do I think that my confidence comes from and this is not a video that I researched and we're putting it together but we're just having a conversation like many of my videos on my channel sometimes I'm having a conversation to a past version of myself or a future version of myself no today is a conversation for you the viewers if you are still here at this point um and also, if you're still here after the intro. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. And we are back! Hello, babies, Jones Bones. If you don't know, that's what I call all of my friends, family, Viewers of the channel, you guys are Jones Bones, and why? Because you complete me. <laughs> and you know, enough with the corniness. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about confidence. I have a lot of confidence in certain extensions of my life, or I wanted to say certain instances. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the most confident girl, but like physically, my confidence is pretty up there, okay? You know, um, for those who don't know, at one point, I was a spicy girl. Um, I wasn't really doing anything too much spicy. I was just taking pictures like this. But still, at one point, I was a spicy girl. I didn't enjoy it, not because I wasn't confident with my own body or not because I was like looking at it and I was like, oh, I look disgusting or I look ugly. I wasn't really into it because I don't like for my body to just be there for the male viewing pleasure, okay? Like, I think we've had this conversation before in the past. For those who don't know, I kind of slick don't like men, okay? Uh, it might be trauma-related. Uh, I don't absolutely hate them. There are plenty of men who know how to respect my boundaries, and therefore, I really don't have boundaries, but therefore, there are men that are respectful, and therefore, I am comfortable with, okay? So for me, as a woman who don't really have too many boundaries, the boundaries that I do have, when men do not go over the boundaries that I do have, they are welcome to a seat at my table, okay? And it's very easy to have a seat at my table. You know what I mean? It's just don't make me uncomfortable. And you gotta do a lot of things to kind of make me uncomfortable. That's not what we're talking about, okay? I, for those who don't know, I have ADHD. I will go on a tangent. That's a lot of what my channel is, to be completely honest with you. But confidence, okay? Now you might look at me and you might, you might be like, girl, girl, y'all need, y'all a little too tall. Get down, get down, get down on my level. Be a little shorter so you can see my belly rolls, okay? So you can see how fat I am. Okay, that's better. You might be thinking, girl, <laughs> Why are you confident? Okay, now there's many types of confidence that I personally think that I may have. Am I the most confident person? No, no, I'm not the most confident person, but also there's a certain level of like, my body is my body and I love it, okay? You know, I could look at my booty crack like the other day, <laughs> I'm gonna be real, real vulnerable with y'all. I was looking, because I had a bruise on my butt, and I took a picture, and I was like, that's a long booty crack right there. But, I don't know if I can say her name right now, because she's in some controversies, but uh, Queen Lizzo has a long booty crack, and that ain't stopped her. So yes, and there are certain things about me that, yeah, I might not like. Like, I think that my skin, like, not even, like, my skin tone, my skin color, my skin is not of the best quality, okay? But also, you know, bitch, I don't fuck 
not drink water. So like, that's all my fault. So like, on another end, confidence, body confidence. I, you know, I walk and I feel my shirts eat, be eaten by these little rows back there. And I just pull it out of my rows and I keep it going. There's a lot of confidence that I have on my physicality. And I think that's, that's because at the most, when I was at my formative years of really loving and appreciating my body, I was a curvy teenager. And so I was plus size to the point where I was in between. I was in between plus size and normal size and I was curvy and I had big boobs. I was always getting compliments from other women, okay? They'd be like, oh, I wish I had your body. Oh, I wish I had your body. This was when I was younger. So those formative years, I mean like middle school, early high school, all of those years, I really was confident in my body because I didn't really care about weight loss. I know my mom would like have her diet pills laying around. And I did go through a period in which I was uh, getting really obsessive about losing weight because the doctor said that I was like seven pounds from being overweight and next thing you know I lost 20 pounds in a month like <laughs> yeah Aaliyah doesn't do things healthily I think I hyper fixated on losing weight I asked myself from time to time like was that an legit was that an ed but i think that it wasn't necessarily an ed because it wasn't built on the self-consciousness of my body but i hyper fixated on not eating food so i wasn't eating at all i wasn't like throwing it up but i was also going through really horrible periods okay now my periods would force me to always like throw up like the first three days of my periods I could not eat at all okay and my periods still affect me to a certain extent now now I know this video was supposed to be about confidence and I thought this video was going to be about confidence but this video is about everything okay it's about everything because back then even though I wasn't purposely making myself throw up I had a lot of times where I was just vomiting every month i would vomit for the first two three days of my periods because my pain would be that deep okay and even if i took pain pills i was just i was just not well put together there's something about my internal organs and the way that they're sitting i really do think that i might have um what is it called i really do think that i might have <sighs> It's something about your intestines where it's really sensitive and like you can either have like really bad diarrhea or you just don't poop. I have like a mixture. So I go between having like really painful poops to just like, like, and when I say painful, I mean like diarrhea, you sweating in the bathroom to times where you're just like not pooping for weeks and it, you feel completely normal. And then I would have the random like stomach pains, like, sh like it would be a pain, like a, a stab in my like stomach you know, just randomly. And so I've always had that gastrointestinal issues. I was either not pooping or I had very bad diarrhea. I remember this when I was like really young. Doctors always just said, take some Metamucil and get over it. Um, but I really do believe that there was there is something legit going on in that tummy of mine. And I'm gonna self-diagnose myself as, as soon as I remember the name of what I believe is going on. But if you know the name, leave it down below. Um, we might have to do a video about that, even though I just told you everything right now. But, um, yeah, confidence. I'm pretty confident. I think I'm very... When I was younger, I wasn't really mentally confident. I think I was raised in an environment where my mental confidence wasn't able to flourish. My physical confidence was pretty off the roof. I didn't really feel bad about my body. And like I said, the only instance that I had where I kind of felt bad about my body was when the daughter was like, oh yeah, you're overweight, you need to lose weight. And then I quickly realized that that wasn't what I wanted to do um, after I hyper fixated on it for a little bit too long. Um, so now I do have these moments where I'm insecure about my body and it's not because of health wise It's because of physicality, right? Like um, my body like I can feel myself eating shirts and I'm just like I kind of don't like that Part of me feels like I want to be the baddie that I feel like I am inside And I've seen when people lose weight and they see happier and stuff like that And so I am interested
invested in that. And I know that I've said it and I've had moments where I'm very vulnerable and I'm crying about like weight gain and weight loss. I'm honestly, I'm often crying. I'm often dealing with my mental health on the internet. This is just honestly a video diary of where I've been. And there's a lot of times where I just step away. But um, right now I'm in a good space. Right now I'm really working on myself and I'm trying to do better for me. And that's the thing. Even if I have my bad days, I always come back and try to do better for me. So I am pretty confident in the fact that I will be a successful YouTuber. Like without a doubt, this is not delusional at all. I think there's too much free money in the world and I, I have said this so many times before, but I think there's too much free money in the world for me not to get a piece of it. And like I hope that you hear the sincerity in my voice when I say I will be a successful YouTuber. And I'm not going to be a successful YouTuber following the trends. I'm going to be a successful YouTuber being myself. Also, I'm fairly confident that my underwears are digging in at a very uncomfortable position right now. So give me a moment. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. You know they're uncomfortable if you stand in one position and you can feel them. Um, but uh, there's a lot of things I'm fairly confident about. I'm fairly confident that I could be... I wanted to say I'm fairly confident that I could be a good mother, but really I'm not too sure about that one. I'm fairly confident that I can become a better version of me. Yes, I'm fairly confident that uh, we have been put on this earth to learn a lesson. Yes, I'm fairly confident that I love Stuart. Yes, I'm also fairly confident that I don't think that love is enough. So I don't think that me and Stuart will be together forever, but I'm also fairly confident that as long as we don't like have this big outblow where it's uncharacteristic for the both of us and something happens, um, based off of our characteristics right now, I know that I can rely on Stu, and I hope Stu knows that he can rely on me, because there's love there. I'm fairly confident that I am meant to be something in this world. I'm fairly confident that my mother loves me. I'm fairly confident that there is love from people in this world going towards me that I don't even fully comprehend or understand in this moment. I'm fairly confident I am loved. I am fairly confident I am beautiful. I am fairly confident confident I am unique. I am fairly confident that I feel a little emotional saying this right now. But at the end of the day, there are things that I'm very confident about and there are things that sometimes will come up where I'm not so confident about. I'm not so confident about my ability to teach. I'm not so confident that I'm actually a good person. I'm not so confident that I'm actually going to make a difference in this world. I know I know that I will do well, but I also don't know I will do well. I'm not too confident about that, right? And it's like a yo-yo. There's some times where you'll see me and I'm the most confident person in the world and then you'll see me and I'm not that confident. Ergo my videos when I'm talking about weight loss and wanting to change. And I think that desire to change isn't just like, oh, lose the weight. It's like this weight has become a, 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 a burden on me. Not that I don't love the body where I am right now, but the weight has become a burden on me that I can't let go. And every time I think about my weight, I also think about my childhood, okay? Does that make sense? Like, so it's not that I hate myself. I hate the constant reminder of my childhood because every time I think about people gaining weight, I always think about how it's trauma-related. You look at my... um my 5,000 pound life is trauma related. And as you guys know, and I've been pretty off, honest on my page that I do legitimately have trauma that I'm trying to work through. And I felt like going overseas was this opportunity to work on that trauma, to work on me, and then to get my weight together. I'm in a new position, I'm in a new area, new food, I can focus on me, blah, blah, blah. And by the time I came back home, I'd be healed to the point that I'm ready to start a life within me. And like at the end of the day, I don't even know I don't know when I will reach that point. I've been here for about six to seven months and I'm still at this starting point. I have lost quite a bit of weight coming over here. Right when I came over here, I was about, 
I want to say 123 kgs, okay? The country that I'm in, we use kgs. And I think the last time I got on the scale, I was about 115 kgs. So I have lost weight, but it doesn't feel like I've lost weight. And also in the process of losing weight, I feel bigger than I was before. And also like I still feel self-conscious. I, I don't like when people stand behind me. It makes me anxious. It makes me so anxious if a man is taller than me and he stands behind me. I feel threatened, even if I know this man isn't threatening me. And it's weird to discover that about yourself. It's really weird to discover how unsafe some men can make me. <laughs> I feel very upset that I feel unsafe from certain men. Like I have a coworker and he was literally putting something on the shelf and he stood behind me and I just felt so uncomfortable. I felt so uncomfortable. And I was surprised that I felt so uncomfortable. I really was surprised that I felt so uncomfortable. <laughs> this wasn't what this video was supposed to be about. But it is the reality, right? <laughs> this video is about confidence. And I'm fairly certain we did not stick to that conversation. And we went all around the world. And well, I guess all of this video was supposed to be about confidence. It's really about how I'm scared. I have such good moments though. Like that's not even to lie. That's not even to like over exaggerate my life. I have such good moments lately and I'm not even trying to convince myself. I really do have such good moments and I do feel happier here and I do feel like I'm doing something but some days I just feel like I'm just stuck and I don't know what's gonna happen next and I really want to know what happens next and I really do believe like don't don't get me wrong I really do believe that YouTube is gonna be my main money maker but then I still wonder when will that happen? And I also wonder, like, when when will I become a mother? And I also wonder, when will I have the family that I actually want? And I also feel like this is starting to look like it's poetry, but it's just really just the thoughts that are in my head just coming out. I feel like there's a lot in me that just wants to come out. I feel like there's a lot in me that just needs an outlet and my channel is my outlet and if you are still with me in this moment if you are still with me at this moment please can you let me know that you hear me like really let me know that you can hear me because that's all this is that's really all this is can you hear me? Let's tie this back to the original purpose of this video. Confidence. I believe there's multiple different types of confidence that one can have. You can have physical confidence. You can have confidence about your future. You can have confidence about you as a person. There's so many different types of confidence that you can have. And while I tend to have confidence about my physicality, not that I hate my physicality. I'm pretty confident that I, uh, I'm pretty confident that, um, I can't run a mile. <laughs> but I, I'm also pretty confident that I am beautiful in my own way, right? I'm not so confident about the future other than you two. And really, when I say YouTube, I'm banking on the fact that there's so much, there's so much money out there, free money, as I like to call it, that it makes no sense that I couldn't get some of it. That's why I believe in YouTube. The whole social media game, like, I feel like I have a story. I'm willing to tell it. I'm not lying. Boom. That is enough. That is enough for me to exist within this world that I'm existing in. I can be something. I am something.
for those who are new, if this is your first video of watching of me, um, I talk and I let it out and I verbally vomit what's going on into my head. And I think that like sometimes, at least the people who are around me always see me smiling and I don't think they realize just how dark it could be inside of my head. It can get pretty dark and that's why I have my channel and I, I really, you know, pretty unfiltered, uncut, on me. It's just there and I don't edit a lot and I just put it there because that's just me. And then I come back years later and I look at it and I was like, I was there. I was there and now I'm here and I'm, I, I hope, <laughs> Aaliyah, I hope you've gotten better. I hope that you are living your dream as long as youtube allows me to as long as i have access to i will always find my way back to social media because honestly social media is my friend social media is my friend i'm fairly confident that I will make it. I just don't know how I will make it. And I'm not confident that I won't get hurt in the process of making it. <sighs> that is all for today. If you are here, much love and positive vibes. I hope to see you guys again another time. Uh, it was one of those days we laughed, we cried. <laughs> we laughed, we cried. That's that's what it is. And uh, I hope that I can see you on another day in which I laugh and cry. I feel like very nauseous all of a sudden. I need to eat something or throw up. I think oh, there's this swell of emotions. Maybe I made myself sick by feeling all of those swell of, of emotions. But I think I need to go. So, much love, custom vibes, and I hope to see you.